Hello everybody and welcome back. Just thought I'd do another video. Oh, just what I remember. That's what the solar is now. 14.7 in the leisure batteries. And the temperature is 20. Oh, it's just dropped down another one. 20.1 Celsius out here now. That's the view at my window. Not bad at all. It has rained this morning, to be honest. Show you where the ground's wet. Don't know if you can see him. Big horse box. Been here all night with me. Well, not with me. He parked up there, like, as you can see. So that's what I woke up to this morning. Absolutely beautiful. And look, here we go. Got the old paint out. Yeah, I think you can see where I've done. Still looks a bit shiner. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Just doing a bit of varnishing. I'll prove to you that I'm doing it. Look. This underneath of the table, I'll actually need quite a few coats then. It's just there, it's quite rough wood. So I should imagine that'll drink it. Look at the old brush stroke, say. Going into the old varnish, you may have to buy some more varnish actually because it's only done it since I've kept the varnish in the van, but it's getting a skin on the top, which isn't that good because, as everybody knows, when you peel the skin off, you're losing either your paint or your varnish. So, I've actually got it dripping, don't know if you can see it. To try and conserve some. Look at that, eh? That is what you call a view. Right, let's see. There. I'll leave it running like that for a little bit. So you can actually see. The beautiful sea, why do a bit more varnishing? Some old boy coming by. Well, let me, let's think what's happened. Went to the job centre. What an absolute joke. Absolute flaming joke in the job centre. They don't actually have jobs there now, do they? Which I didn't know. I actually looked a bit of an idiot when I went in the job centre. I just stood there dumbstruck. There were no computers, no jobs on boards. Well, there was, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I, the security guard asked me if they, if they could help. I said, well, I actually thought I'd come to the job centre. But I think I'm in the wrong place. Because it doesn't look like a job centre. He sent me to this man <coughs> that explained everything <coughs> that jobs now are all done online and you have to actually register at the job centre to go online to look at the jobs. It says once you've registered you can come in as much as you want, use their computers and that to look to look for work. I thought, a bit strange, that, isn't it? That you can't just go in and look at jobs. To say they want you to find a job, but it is what it is, I suppose. The way forward. Um, anyway, 
Uh, so, so you don't have any jobs in here at all then, apart from on them computers? He says, well, we have a little notice board there, if you want to take a look at that. And I noticed that there was an Avon site setting on. So I said, yeah, I'll have a look at that. Went over, had a look at the notice board, and he says, is that any help to you? I says, not really, mate. I says, I see here, Avon's setting on. And he went, all oh, right, right, do you fancy that? I says, well, I would do, but it said here, the recruitment date is the 22nd of February. I says, I'm not the brightest person, but by my reckoning, it's the 26th today. So that's gone, hasn't it? He says, oh, oh yes, I forgot to take that down. You wouldn't pass it me, would you? And I thought, well, they're not, they're not very up to date at all, though. But the, I have come across, it's the only time I've come across these problems. Is I have applied, well, no, I haven't applied, because I couldn't. Been on Indeed and that, like I always do. Lots of jobs. As soon as you phone them up and that, or try to apply, they want your CV. Well, I haven't got a CV. Not at the moment. I'll be looking into that, to be honest. So I think I'm going to have to get a CV somehow. And then my next hurdle is they want a local address. Well, I haven't got a local address because the address I use is my brother's kindly enough. He lets me use his address. But that's like 380 miles away. And there'd be no point sending anything there to me. And as well, the stupid employees would probably think I was going to travel each day to work. Won't put that past the, some of the idiots. So, but I shall overcome it. It's not a big ergo. It's no big drama. These things are sent to try us. You've just got to overcome them. And that's what I will be doing. I'm going to phone the ice cream man later on today. See what he's offering. And that. See if anything's going there for the weekends. Because I didn't actually realise Easter is so far away this year, isn't it? And then we're straight into May Day. I actually forget the proper date of Easter. But it's sort of back, I think it's about the 20th to something of April. Um, I think that's why there's not so many jobs at the moment. But something will come up. Always does. Always got to look on the bright side. No point sat down crying about it. Because... No matter what happens, I'm still on a journey at the end of the day. This is my journey, and I'm taking you along with me on my journey. Good or bad, I will bring you along. Now, I'll show you a bit more of the varnishing I've done there. There, look at that, eh? Don't that look absolute handsome now, eh? Finish the bottom of it, then drop the table down, then varnish the top of the table and the back of the wall. Got a little bit of varnishing to do on that side. And that bottom runner, got to do that. Look at that, eh? What a view to be working in. Doing a spot of varnish. Mm, see if I can enlarge this. There's actually a little fishing boat going out. There you go. He's tugging along in him. Yeah. 
He's actually going back into Newland Arbour. I'm not far from Newland. Just outside of Newland at the moment, up on the it is the coastal path. I don't know if you can see there look. No camping, cooking or overnight sleeping. Oh dear. Never mind. Probably stay here for tonight as well. Because it is absolutely beautiful. Once I've done the varnishing, I'm gonna walk up up into Mars Hole. See what that's like. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with some more varnishing. So I shall love you. That's falling down. I shall love you and leave you all. And that, because it's. I think it's coming up to 11 minutes now. I'm boring the arses off you all. So don't forget, one life, live it. Right? No matter what life throws at you, it's all a journey. So don't forget, one life, live it, take care now, bye bye.